Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Des and today I'm taking you through another full body jump board workout. You won't need any additional props today. Just make sure you have something handy for some side lying series. It's gonna be a fun and challenging workout. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna be starting on just a half a spring, which is a blue on our backs. And headrests can be up where it's comfortable. My hair off to the side. All right, we are going into an imprinted spine right away, working our core. So I want you to take your hands behind your head and exhale, roll up to a crunch. Relax through the neck and shoulders. Think about that belly button pressing down towards the carriage. From here, we're going to press out and jump right away. Good, and land. Continuing this jump. The legs are coming up slightly to a pike in order to maintain your imprint. Good, so right away, core is waking up. Yes. Good, keep those deep breaths, getting everything warmed up. Three, two, and one. Now take one leg to tabletop and back. Switch and back. Good. Trying to still maintain that imprint. Feeling a little bit more obliques here. Now add a little rotation towards that knee and to the opposite. Good. One more each side. And now extend the leg up to the ceiling and back down. Good. It's like a scissor with rotation. Yes, good. Low back stays down. Two more each side. And one. And one. Good. Land and relax the head. Woo. Rocking those knees side to side. That is definitely got the core. Burning right away. We're gonna come all the way up and get your straps available. Staying on the half a spring, we're gonna be kneeling facing the board, doing a quick set of front rowing to get our upper body warmed up. You can also do this seated. I'm gonna be adding a little squat here. So we're gonna sit down towards your heels, hinging forward, and then you're gonna reach the arms as you come up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Down, press and squeeze. If you feel like the one blue isn't quite enough, you can add on the white. We're gonna be here for a minute. Press and squeeze. Think about squeezing the front of your shoulder, squeezing through the glutes. Good. A little pause at the top. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Hold it up there on one. Now we're doing little circles around with your arms, making like a teardrop shape. Think about zipping your ribs together the whole time. Good. Two, scapula staying flat. We don't want any winging and reverse it out and around. Think about your chest staying open. Ribs are staying zipped. I like to keep my hands in my peripheral vision to kind of help not overextend the shoulder. Three, two, 
and a one. Good, release it back down, drop the straps off to the side. Hands are gonna go onto the board. We're still hovering over our heels. Now we're gonna press off, keeping that hover forward and back, good. So we're getting into those quads still during this hover and then upper body. If it's hurting your wrists at all, you can go off of your fingertips like this, kind of soften that or press off of a ball or you can always just press off the board. Good, okay, we're gonna add a upper body lift. So press and lift. Squeeze the glute to the top. Good. Really, really getting the upper body working. Heart rate up a little bit. Three, two, we're gonna add rotation. So one arm is gonna reach up and rotate to one side and catch. Rotate to the other side and catch. Thinking about lifting up super tall through your spine, hips, stay forward. Good. Don't forget about the core. Make sure it's not spilling out when you go into that catch. Two more each side. Two. And one. And one. Catch. And pause. Good. Kind of bounce it out with your arms. We're gonna go into a round back knee stretch right away. Shoulders are relaxed and down. I want you to grab the outsides of the board and you can untuck your toes if that feels better or keep them there. I know it's kind of a long time to be tucked there. So exhale, round it in. It's just that half a spring. So it should feel light. Lots of lower core. Try not to grip too much on your arms and focus on the core doing your work. Good, exhale. Tuck it in. In, relax the neck and shoulders. Five, four, three, two. Hold it in on one. We're gonna crawl our hands both to one side. Stay rounded, thinking about reaching up away from the floor. Knees are doing the same thing. Tailbone is still tucked under. Focusing a little bit more into that oblique. Good. And eight, a little bit quicker on the in. Seven, lift up and away. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's crawl to the other side. Lifting up, relax the shoulders away from the neck and exhale in. Good. Round it, round it through the tailbone. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find the center and just relax into that shell stretch for a second. Awesome, we've really warmed up the upper body. Let's go into the glutes. So we're gonna go either three quarters or one. So three quarters is gonna be your blue and white or blue and yellow. I'm gonna go to three quarters or you can switch it out for one red to make it a little bit harder and grab whatever you need for sideline. Bring your headrest down if that feels better and tucking your bottom leg under. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, lower belly is lifted, and you're just jumping off from here. Good. We're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> so you can kinda choose your springs accordingly. Just starting with that basic jump, I want you to make sure that your upper body is in alignment, you have space underneath the bottom side going to be focusing on this entire leg and glute. Four. Two. 
After one, I want you to kick it forward. Jump and kick forward and land as you kick forward. No changing in the hips. Don't let the hips tuck under. We wanna just kind of lengthen through the hamstring. Kick, good. Whew, it's burning. And four, three, two, and one, kick it back. No movement through the hips, just a little squeeze back on the booty. And three, two, one, kick it up to the ceiling, straight up. It burns. Woo. Let's do four more. You got this four. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, bounce it out. Ah, it is on fire. Grab your strap that's on that side, stack the hips. We're gonna just be reaching up towards the ceiling. We're still on the three quarters or one. You're gonna pull it down. It's gonna feel a little heavy, but we're only staying in this position and a tricep press, so it's short. Adjust the weight if you need to. Make sure you're staying relaxed through this shoulder. Think about your exhale powering down to your hip. Yes, good. Core is initiating. Four. And three. Two. Hold it down there. Tricep press, fist is going up towards the ceiling and back so it's short. Don't let it bend too far so that you can go back. So you're making like a 90 degree angle and back. You can always pinch the rope if you need to. Try not to, as long as you can. And just four, three, two. Hold it down there on one, little tiny circles. Two, one, reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one and release it down. Woo, shake out that arm. We are automatically going into a lateral rotated, laterally rotated jump. All right, from there, finishing out this outer thigh and glute. Basic jump. Good, check in with your core, check in with the bottom side. Shoulder is relaxed. Last one, now kick it up to the ceiling. Up. Good. Try not to adjust your hip. Squeeze that knee, try to get it straight. Four, three, two, Last set, tuck it in towards your shoulder. Tuck. Doing great. Five more. Breathe each jump. Four, three, two, and one. Ah, and bounce it out. Oh my goodness. Yes, you guys, good. Okay, roll on your backs for a quick stretch. Through that hip if you need it. Good. 
and we're rolling automatically to the other side. Oops, <laughs> here we go. Okay, lying on this side and going into your jump right away. Basic jump, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, space underneath the bottom side. Good, breathe into your jump. Give yourself that power you need. Good, landing toe ball heel. Use that entire foot to take off. Last two. Now I want you to kick it forward. You're gonna go kick forward. Good, keeping your spine in alignment. Good. Squeezing through the knee. Yes, good. Try not to let those hips tuck. I know it's hard. Four, three, two, and one. Now kick it back. Ooh, it's burning, that booty. The kick back is really small. Just that little squeeze through the glute where you feel your glute meet your hamstring. Good. Six more. Good. Four. Ooh, this side burns. Three. Two. And now kick it up, keeping your hips parallel. Ooh, oh my goodness, this hurts. Good, four, and three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, pound it out. Awesome, you guys grab your strap in front of you, stack those hips, relax through the shoulders, take a deep breath, exhale, pull down. Try to just lower your heart rate. Your arm is gonna stay in your peripheral vision in order to keep that alignment with your shoulder. We don't want to be overextending. And it's going to help for the rope not to hit you in the head. Good. Ah, I am winded. Breathe. Exhale down. Yes. Awesome, you guys. Soft through the elbow. Think about pulling down with your lats. We're working the tricep and posterior delt. Good, a little bit of your rhomboids. Two. Hold it down on one. You're gonna go tricep press and back. Good. Amazing, you guys. This is a hard one, I know. Pinch the rope if you need it. Try to power through. And squeeze. Four. Three. Two. And hold it on one. Oh my goodness, little tiny circles. This side feels so much harder for me for some reason. Three. Two. One, reverse it. Four, three, two, one, and release down. Oh my goodness, I had to pinch the rope on that one. Shake it out. Okay, laterally rotate at the top leg. Try not to roll back on your hip. Keep your hips stacked and jump right away. We're getting it done, you guys. Yes. Focus on that foot, landing toe ball heel, and your knee is right in line over your toes. All 
All right, lifting up to the ceiling. Here we go. Little kick up and up. It's burning. Keep those hips nailed down. Top hip as well. Three, two, one. Go into the tuck. Then we're done on this leg. Keep those hips long. Five more. And four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Pound it out. Shake it out. Oh, so good, you guys. Roll on your back for a quick stretch if you need it. And breathe into that hip. Awesome. Okay, you can set whatever you have for side laying off to the side and roll on up. We're gonna stay on that three quarters to one for this next exercise. And place your feet on the board. You're gonna kind of push the board away just a little bit to create some space for your legs, especially if you're a lot taller than me. And then you're rounding forward. Now I want you to actually grab on to the carriage so your fingers will go underneath the carriage. Then if you wanna slide forward a little, you can. You just wanna be in a really, really scooped position. From here, you're gonna do one press out and then one little jump. Good. One press out, one little jump. Good, so if you want a little bit more burn in your legs, go up to that one red. But if you're on the blue and white or blue and yellow, it's gonna feel a little less stable for your core. So you can kind of pick your poison here. Try not to bounce through your knees. I know on the lower weight, it can feel like a bounce. I want you to squeeze and lift and then power on the jump. Try to slow your motion down so you're controlling that stability through your knees. Control and squeeze, yes. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Control and squeeze and tuck. Good, four more like this. And three. Two. And one. Okay, we have 10, just full jumps. Here we go. 10, tuck, tuck, tuck. Breathe, nine. Round it forward, relax the shoulders. Seven. Six. Five. Four, try to squeeze those knees. Two, get that pike. One, land, bounce it out. Yes, you guys, good. You can unroll the spine. We're gonna go just to a half a spring or you can go to the three quarters that you were on. If you want additional support, we're gonna work obliques. So I'm going down to just the one blue or you can go blue and white or blue and yellow. Okay, I'd like you to try to challenge yourself to come up to your elbow but you can also do this side lying and just jump off of the top leg. But if you're coming up to your elbow like me, I want you to have both feet on the board and then you're rolled back slightly on to this bottom cheek. Okay, from here, we're gonna just jump and do a little bit of a pike. Good, jump and pike. Yes, so we're really focusing on this side oblique. We wanna make sure this shoulder is relaxed and down. We're not sinking down, so lift up tall. If you feel like this is just not working or available to you, that's where you wanna go side lying and just lift the top leg. Okay, make a little bit more dramatic of a pike. Good, reach towards those legs. Getting a little crunch. Good, three, two, pull the lower belly in, one. Now we're gonna tuck the knees, jump and tuck, and reach it back down, jump and tuck. So the tuck should get a little bit deeper. 
Good. Six. And five. Try to get more air time. Jump higher. And three. Two. And one. Bring it in. Awesome, you guys. Sit on up just to kind of shake out that shoulder and stretch over to that side. Woo. Really, really, really good work. Okay, we're gonna actually grab your strap onto this side and go to just a seated position today and external rotation. So if you decided to go up to three quarters, you might wanna go down to just the blue because we're gonna be just working those external rotators which are a little bit weaker of a muscle. Not to say that you cannot do it on three quarters. Good. We're just rotating the shoulder right inside the socket. Lifting up tall through your spine. Good. Those obliques are working to stabilize. A lot of us do this in kneeling most of the time. So take a moment to kind of realize the difference that your core feels when you're doing this seated. Four. You can always go down to just the white or yellow too if the spring is too heavy. Last one. Good, we're gonna just lift in the elbow and back across. Try to keep your shoulders equal. Good. This one should feel a little bit lighter on the load. We're gonna be adding extension in a second. Okay, from here, you're gonna extend it at the top, but I want you to add rotation. So follow your hand, extend and reach. This is backhand, and then follow it to come back down. Extend and reach, follow it back down and across. Good. Just four or more. Three, two, and one, and release. Awesome. Drop that strap down, shake it out. Let's flip to the other side to hit your oblique on that side. Dropping down to your elbow, roll those shoulders down, and rolling back on that bottom cheek. All right, here we go. Somehow I have a hair on me. Here we go. All right, jump and lift. So you can use this opposite hand to support, or you can have it here. Do whatever you feel like you need. I feel a little less stable on this side for whatever reason. Relax, relax those shoulders. Try not to sink into your bottom shoulder. Yes, good. Okay, add that full pike if you can. You're going reach for those toes back to your head. Reach. Yes. So if you're doing this um, side lying, you would just be doing the same thing, reaching your top arm towards the top leg. Good. Three. Two. And one, going into a little tuck and crunch. Good. Getting a little bit more dramatic with the tuck. Yes, good, you guys. Breathe. Six, try to get that power a little bit higher. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it in. Yes, you guys, awesome. Come up to seated. And give yourself a little lateral flexion towards that side. Yes, good, roll out your shoulders and grab your opposite strap, going to your seated position, lifting up nice and tall, shoulders are rolled down and back and externally rotate through your arm, pulling this strap, it's gonna be your arm closest to the board. Good, lifting up tall in the lower core 
we're so close you guys we're gonna work this arm then we're gonna go down and do a final good long burn for our legs and then we'll cool down yes so good four Ooh, pinch that rope if you need it three two and one good going into just your pull up to your shoulder and back down good exhale lift and going into your full backhand rotate bend extend and reach bend and follow your eye gaze across bend extend and reach yes and back getting that little bit of rotation just through the upper half of the spine two more and a one and back down awesome and drop that strap good you guys okay we're going one and a half to two so two red or a red and a blue i'm going red and blue and lie down on your back so you can also go um the blue and white if you want a little bit um, of that in between all righty so shimmy around, find your neutral spine, and you're gonna go for a jump, just basic jump. It's gonna feel a lot heavier. We've done a lot of ab jumps today so far. So kind of get a feel for that, and then you can adjust your springs if needed. Good, this is gonna be just one good long set, and then we'll be done. Make sure you're in neutral. Double check that spine. Knees over your toes. All right, bring your feet together. We're doing moguls. So now knees and toes face one way, knees and toes face the other way. Think about that rotation coming from the hip, but your hips stay Nail down on the carriage. Good. One more each way. One, one, find center, scissor, jump, one leg up. Woo, this burns. I feel you. Oh my goodness. Trying to squeeze those quads at the top. It burns. We're so close, you guys. Keep it up. Keep your breath. Get out of your head. You're stronger than you think. One more each way. Find center. Now run one leg and the other. One. And the other opposite legs comes into tabletop. <laughs> Good. Okay, speed it up. Here runs a little bit. So you're coming about halfway. Pressing off of your feet all the way. Four and three, two, one. Good, little tiny runs, little tiny runs, little like football runs. <laughs> good, 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 good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and bounce it out. 
Yes. So good, you guys. Breathe through it. Try to slow your heart rate. Catch your breath. Two more presses. And one. Good. Press it out. We're going to take one leg into your chest. Breathe. Extend that leg up to the ceiling. Flex and point. Flex and point. Good. Cross that over into a figure four stretch. Bring your hands through. Breathing into it. Good. And switch to the other side. Pull that knee into your chest. Inhale and exhale. And extend that leg up to the ceiling. Flex and point. Flex and point. Breathe, good. And cross that leg over for a figure four stretch. Put your hands through. Breathing into that side. Awesome, you guys. This was challenging. Good job for pushing through. All right, we're gonna roll on up and do one last stretch. Going just to one red spring onto your knees. You're gonna put your knee closest to the side down and foot up against the shoulder block, but you're gonna put your foot up onto the silver runner so your legs are a little bit closer. If this is uncomfortable, just do a normal single thigh stretch. This is just gonna get a little bit deeper, but be careful um, if you feel any tension around your knee, don't push it too far. You're just going in and out. Good, feeling that stretch connecting all the way down. Good, one more, hold it back there. Little extension and bring it back in. Make your way to the other side. Place that foot down, in and out. Good. Try to relax through your upper body and shoulders. Gentle stretch, pressing your hips forward. Don't forget about lifting through your core. Two, let's hold this one back there. Little extension through the spine. Awesome, you guys come on up and off to the side. Quick stretch through your shoulders. We did a lot of shoulder work just sporadically throughout the workout. And other side. Good, let's take a final roll down, big inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, roll down one vertebrae at a time, letting yourself just hang at the bottom, nodding your head, yes and no. And soften through your knees, start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last, and roll those shoulders back at the top. And you guys are done. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a challenge. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram for more workout content and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.